Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are real. It is hot again in Los Angeles in the winter, 85 degrees. And today's show is, again, an extremely exciting show because we have Mr. Red Shirt himself, Kevin Winston. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> girls, get back. Hey, Larry, how are you? Get back. Stay back. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Many of you in the Los Angeles community, in the Hollywood community, in California and New York, and all the tech communities probably know Kevin. He's famous for Digital LA, which is his huge networking organization, which has events all the time. All the time, yeah. All about entertainment and technology. And also, he's really famous, I think, in the business community for your Silicon Beach Fest. That's correct. Which is a big event around startups and technology companies in Los Angeles. And you were kind of the first guy to say, there's something brewing here. Let's get all these folks together, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, about five years ago, when I was working at Fox Interactive Media uh, doing digital stuff, I thought there should be a group that meets on a regular basis to talk about all the exciting stuff that's happening in, in tech and entertainment and startups. So I created this group called Digital LA, and the first one was me and 10 friends at a bar in Santa Monica. <laughs> Which is still Very how casual. it is, it's, but it's now it's hundreds of we people. We definitely like bars, and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it helps, it helps you know, networking. A little, yes. a little alcohol helps some social networking <laughs> in real life. So, uh, so then it grew from 10 friends at a bar to 5,000 people on Facebook it's in the first insane. year. And uh, now we reach 60,000 people a week wow. uh, through our newsletter, our LinkedIn, our Facebook, it's crazy. our Instagram, and uh, uh, you know, our Snapchat. So. I mean, you are literally everywhere. I mean, uh, every night you're somewhere fabulous with fabulous people, but you're talking about real stuff. And that, that's the thing that blows me away because you have a lot of networking connector folks who no, no meat falls out of it, but you actually make business happen. So I'd love for you to talk a little bit about like what you're starting to see with Digital LA, the conversations that are happening. Yeah, so Digital LA brings together people who are doing smart things uh, in tech, entertainment, and startups, and basically lets them all meet each other. Uh, that, that's the film people meets the TV people and, and the games people and the visual effects people uh, and the startup people and the VCs. And everyone's doing awesome, amazing things. So I figured by doing these events and bringing people together and doing the Silicon Beach Fest conference, that also brings people together. Just like great things happen when you put smart people together because uh, businesses and, um, and, and, and brands learn, oh, hey, we should partner with these content creators, like these Vine creators who have amazing social media followings, or these YouTubers to help promote our brand. Because you're, you're getting people exposed to who these folks That's are right. really at the beginning of whatever they're doing. That's correct. Before we've even heard of it. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. You know, which is all, always strikes me. I'm like, how did he know that was going to happen? <laughs> it's kind of my job to figure out, like, you know, what's going on and what the pulse well, is like of what the, what's, what the what's new. So in, so. Other words, in other words, you run an adoption agency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. First, first, first things first, because everyone wants to know this that knows you. Why the red shirts? Why the red shirts? Yeah. Okay, great you question. Tell the secret now. Great so question. <laughs> so, yes, anyone who knows me or sees me walking around in a, in a red shirt, it, that, that's definitely me. Uh, I've adopted, I'm wearing red shorts right now because it's 80 something uh -huh. degrees. And uh, also and fantastic red shoes. Yeah. What are those Thank shoes? Thank you. They are red Ferrari shoes. Oh, my gosh. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could show those on the air. But uh, anyway, th it started because uh, the logo for Digital LA is red. There's a little red stripe uh, on the logo, which you can see at digitalla.net. Um, which is, stands for like, you know, red carpet. And I thought red would look good online because it goes with black and white and all other brands use that color scheme. Uh, so I started to use red as my logo, no big deal. At one of my events, I was wearing a red shirt just randomly. It wasn't a thing then. Mm -hmm. And a woman came up to me and was like, Kevin, I love your branding. You have a red logo and you're wearing a red shirt. I could find you at this event easily <laughs> and I know who you are. Uh, and I was like, she's like, how did you come up with this idea? And I was like, uh, I was I just thought of it, and it popped up <laughs> my head because you that's a great idea. You you helped think of this idea. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so since then I was, I was like, she has a good idea. I think I should wear a red shirt because it does help with branding, and uh, you know, so people can find me at events. So ever really since then, I've worn red red 
shirts and it's it's just grown and so now if, if people see me not in a red shirt which doesn't happen anymore but at the beginning when people saw me not in a red shirt they're like hey aren't you supposed to be wearing a red shirt so uh, so now i wear red no, shirts all the time there's really no time that you're not kind of doing your thing right or look like you ever not in digital la silicon beach mode like are you ever out with just friends not pulling it all together and i i, am, I, I am always i am always in digital la silicon yeah, beach you really are. Mode, I mean, you are uh, because everywhere. digital is everywhere yeah. like there's so many things that are digital now right uh, over the it's award season right now and, yeah. and over the past two weeks i've i've been to you know five different award shows everything from the oscars uh, science and technology those mm -hmm. high-tech oscar awards uh that the academy puts on mm -hmm. uh to the visual effects society awards uh tomorrow on valentine's day is the um the writers guild awards and they all wow. have a digital component now so i'm going to go represent represent and like mm -hmm. You know, let other people know in the digital scene who the digital winners were. So when you go to, because you do all these great events yourself, but when you go to other events, yes. what is your role there? My role there is basically to uh, to meet folks and connect and let other people in the in the digital scene know what's happening at that event. For example, a lot of people didn't know that you can win an Academy Award for Science and Technology. It's mm -hmm. an Academy Award, you know, in the same category as the Oscars mm -hmm. for your algorithm for like cool lighting on Shrek. Like right, you can win right. an award for that. Right. Uh, so people don't know that. So uh, since I have a broad group now reaching 60,000 people a week, um, it's, it's just a great way to let other people know that you can actually do that. So you become that. sort of a fulcrum at these different events for your community. That's correct. Because I know I'm always like, I'm at home passing out on the couch in my clothes at about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night because I'm working mom, girl, whatever. And you're like out somewhere. And I just noticed on Facebook I get a picture and you're there somewhere fabulous, surrounded by very always very attractive people, by the way. There are attractive people in Los Angeles. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> but are 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 you naturally drawn? Are naturally are attractive people naturally drawn to you? It seems. I, I am. I am. Uh, I am a people person. So <laughs> I like. Yeah. I like to. I like to hang out with fun. With fun with, people. Yeah. It always looks like you're having a ball. But you are always at events. I always learn about events. And then you're always also on your Facebook page, which I love about you and your brand. You're always posing interesting questions about digital themes or cultural trends you know you throw you always throw questions out on your facebook page what do you think of this or what do you think about that and then is that how you also understand what's going on by the responses is that sort of uh, your unofficial yeah yeah i mean i, I always am you know thinking about digital and living in, in, in digital stuff uh, just because it's everywhere i mean from our social media to things that we do there are digital aspects to everything so i'm uh, just basically you know You're representing the, yeah. and, and and living that is just just how i how i how i live do, so. you, have, do, you, do you have a red car uh, I am working on that. I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get Ferrari sponsored to match my red shoes. Okay. So if anyone from Ferrari is hearing this, I'm totally down for that. All right. Well, here's the other business piece that people don't also understand about you is that you get sponsors. Yes. At all your events. Yes. And so you're making money. You're making a living doing this. Yes. Um, and then the people get to have drinks and food, and so it's a real thing. It's a business model. How do you do that at all of these events? Because you have so many. Um, do you have a staff now? I, mean, I, I have people think I have a staff of five to ten people. Yeah, don't you? But it's kind of a little secret for everybody on the radio. It's actually just me. I just, I just have I, I just have a lot it? of energy. I do the newsletter. I organize the events. I take the photos. I do the social media live during the events. I do the post write ups and put it on the Digital LA blog. So. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, but it's is also it, a lot of fun. Is I don't Red sleep. Bull? I don't is sleep. Is it Red Bull? <laughs> <laughs> it's Red Bull. That's right. The secret to the red is actually the Red Bull. No, <laughs> uh, no. I just have a, I just have a lot of energy, and I'm usually I'm up till two uh, in the morning or, doing, or so, doing it all. working. Yeah, because right. after all the networking events, which typically run seven to ten, yeah. I usually pop by the gym for an hour and then go home and actually start working yeah, at around always. like eleven. Last night I got back from the gym at eleven uh, and then worked from like eleven to two. Uh, working on this, uh, some stuff for a, a women's conference that I have on March 6th over at the New Cross campus. Yeah, in so talk about that. So, do you look at the year and say, okay, on March 6th, I'm going to do this event, on March 15th, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, or is it more spontaneous than that? Or it how do you lay it totally out? It is totally spontaneous. <laughs> so, so, yeah, uh, through Digital LA, I organize about 80 events a year all around startups, entertainment, and tech, and do, do different things. So, for example, this week alone, uh, in the past week, I had a visual um, virtual reality 
hospitality panel okay. on, on Tuesday. We're at 300 attendees. Wow. Uh, I had another panel on Monday on um, apps that let you order things on demand, everything from... Subscription. Uh, everything, yeah, every, yeah, everything from like a, a, a Lux valet, which mm-hmm. will give you a valet to ha- have a guy show up to you and take your car from you wherever you are oh and valet God, it. Oh, my God. I love that. Yeah, What's that called? Yeah, it's a great idea. It's called Lux valet. Lux uh, valet. There's another one called Instacart, which lets you have groceries on demand instead of having to go sh- to the store. That I just someone saw will at, pop ho- up at Whole Foods. Uh, uh, yeah, Whole someone Foods will arrive is, at yeah. your house with whatever you order with your groceries. You don't have to like From whatever shop. store you want. Yeah, okay. yeah. So the, these kind of apps are very popular right now in, in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, and then on March 6th, I'm doing this women's conference because there hasn't really been a women's conference celebrating all the women who are awesome in startups, VCs, and developers and technology. So I get the ideas basically from going to all these networking events because people will say, hey, you haven't done a panel on drones. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. He's like, I do drones and I would like to you know, help out with doing a panel on drones. I'm like, all right, let's do it, which actually happened. And so we're doing a, a drone panel on two weeks because in two weeks because drones are a pretty big thing too. So it's super, it's super organic. There are a couple of tentpole movies. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. events. I, used to, I used to work in the movie industry at, the, at Sony Pictures and Fox, so I kind yeah. of think of them as movies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There are a couple of tentpole events that I do have dates for, which is Silicon Beach Fest, Mm-hmm. We're just coming up in June. That's a four-day conference with mm-hmm. 2,000 attendees that brings together the startup and Hollywood. That's an insane event. Yeah, it's, it's, it's LA's biggest startup you tech got, conference. You got, you got a, um, validated by Forbes, who called you like one of the most influential yeah. guys in LA. Yeah, that was a surprise. I saw on Twitter that uh, after the first Silicon Beach Fest in 2012, which was very forward-thinking then, uh, to have the startup conference, Forbes did an article uh, that named me one of the 10 you know, entrepreneurs uh, that are really making L.A. work and, and making, LA making the cool. texting happen. L.A. is so. cool because we have so cool that was, that was a surprise I found out on Twitter. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so Silicon Beach Fest is a major temple. Then I have a couple of other temples like our, our South by Southwest party. Um, we do an Oscar viewing party. Uh, a lot of things related to the intersection uh, of right, tech and Right, so, so um, standard events, you yeah. have an, an extension so that the digital community can latch on That's to something correct. and so have a presence. digital to do. And then you have temples that are your, your mainstays. And then the in-between is what I'm really interested in because that's you trendmeistering. Yeah, so in know? between is trendmeistering, which is basically people coming up to me, like I, I mentioned, for, and saying, hey, you haven't done a, a panel on 3D printing. You haven't done a panel on drones yet. And I'm like, that's a great idea. We should totally do that. Right. And since it's just me, I don't have to really approve anything you don't have by to, anybody. You, you say, you, you say <laughs> I could just say, let's do drones. And right. you're like, no. <laughs> right, exactly. I could say, that's a great idea. Let's do it. And fortunately, since I've been doing this for five years, I know a lot of venues that love my crowd. They love the digital people who can come and expense things. <laughs> uh, expensive drinks and food to talk about some cool technology. Uh, they tend to be very social media savvy and will treat about that they're from the venue. So the venue gets a lot out of it. So I have them come in saying, hey, let's you know, let's do events. So And, and then so, you get sponsors. And right, you, and, and I get sponsors. So basically connect the people who are doing awesome things with the venues and sponsors who want to associate with them with that and have a business network in an event that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is always, your events are always at cool little happening spots that sometimes they're like those group workspaces, but right. There are always places that you learn about the space because you're doing an event right, there. Right, right. Yeah, that, We've done stuff at co-working spaces like at Cross Campus, uh, at WeWork, uh, and uh, several I prefer several when you actually have events in Hollywood because for me to get to Santa Monica, oh my God, from Sherman Oaks, I might as well transport myself virtually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have events. We have events all over. We have events in now. Hollywood, <laughs> uh, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Santa Monica. Yeah. And then this Pasadena conference will be our biggest our biggest uh, event in Pasadena. Oh, wow. The one, this is the women's the one? The women's conference, All right, yeah. I am so, so there. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can be a moderator, I know. Lori. <laughs> I'd love for you to be a moderator. <laughs> is that okay? i moderator. <laughs> all right, Lori's a moderator. See, this is how I make this happen. Right, right in real time. <laughs> this is how business gets done on the radio show. Live. Well, let's go to our next segment, which is, you know, what's the scoop segment and John always plays something fun and let's see. Here it is. All right, sounds fun. So so what do you see popping up now? Um what are the, some of the trends that you're seeing? So you mentioned drones, you mentioned 3D printing, obviously women entrepreneurs. What are some of the things that you've been picking up on that you think are really hot technology trends right now? Yeah, the the new thing that's happening this year is anything that has to do with like internet plus a a a gadget or object so drones mm-hmm. that you can control with your iphone so internet of things yeah internet, type of thing? basically internet of things okay which can include drones uh 3d printing is related to that there's something digital that has a physical mm-hmm. output of you know a printed thing you can print right. a a knickknack you can print food now with a, with a 3D yeah printer. hershey's it's, it's announced that amazing. at ces you can print and like a, a chocolate of, crystal yeah so exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah exactly <laughs> there were beautiful printed food confections at ces yeah yeah that, yeah, that was amazing yeah, that was really so good. um 
so yeah, any, anything related to Internet of Things, uh, health and and wearables, wearable tech, any sort of bands that you have, mm -hmm. those are pretty good. And and uh, health and in general is pretty. So are you doing too. anything on healthcare? Have you? That's done next. That's yeah. next. Yeah, okay. that's next. That's we, a good one. I could get you some sponsors oh, good, for that. Good. And it, see, this <laughs> it happens, folks. <laughs> so yeah, we we uh, we did a health and fitness panel last January, kind mm -hmm. of to tie in with health and fitness. New Year's resolution: Everyone wants to get fit. Yes. So we have all the fitness companies that have fitness apps or fitness wearables uh, come and do that. So we're going to do that. <coughs> um, have you, have you soon. noticed that any? Because I've had a lot of brands ask me, we want a wearable to communicate this brand attribute for our brand, mm -hmm. who should we partner with? And so they don't know if they should go to product manufacturers, if they should go to startups, like who do they, who should people go and talk to as brands if they want to partner with a wearable or become a wearable or sponsor a wearable? Yeah, all the, or most of the wearable companies have divisions that will, that, or a person that's in charge of, of this sort of thing, mm -hmm. partnering with brands, um, or there are agencies that See, are developing. See, that's, that's that. an event. Yeah, that's an event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do brands partner with uh, with technology? So New what? Technology. What? what, what that's a great idea. I, let's book it. I'll, I'll <laughs> go set up the. Uh, I'll go set it up and. Uh, I love it. Put it in today's newsletter that goes out. Well, so what would you? Are there any agencies that you think that are doing a really good job at that right now? They're just kind of getting started. I mean, there's yeah. a couple of folks that, that that I know who, uh, yeah. you know, it's basically agencies themselves. Yeah. But that's it's definitely going to increase. That's a, definitely a trend. Another trend that's happening is YouTubers and uh, other social media influencers like Vine Star. Um, or even Snapchat people. Uh, anyone who's creating content, especially for the younger demographic, like teens, yeah. uh, they're getting huge and they're becoming more and more mainstream now. And getting hired by net networks and exactly. studios to do content. Exactly. A couple of the uh, of the influencers um, have had movies mm -hmm. uh, released. Uh, for example, Cameron Dallas is a large Vine star with, mm -hmm. I think, five to six million followers on Vine, which is the six second of video. He takes six seconds of video and gets like all these crazy. mostly teenage girlfriends loving him. He got a movie deal, which, you know, he created an expelled movie that was was released. And uh, so did the movie it, do well? The movie did. The movie was only in one theater uh, in Los Angeles uh, at the Burbank uh, AMC, but um, I actually talked to someone who, from the studio that helped produce it, and they're like, "Yeah, it doesn't matter that it was in one theater because we got thousands and thousands of downloads of people paying ten dollars online to download the movie oh, directly." Right. So it's distribution. Yeah, so it's distribution. Yeah. yeah, so the movie theater was kind of for like people who are not quite into downloading movies yet, but the main audience that watches him is, and they easily just put down $10, which is almost the price of a regular ticket right. to watch it online. Right. And they're, so That's yeah. Crazy. So they made back their money. Yeah, uh, yeah. So like Interview made really all well. that money Yeah, exactly, so it could be, uh, yeah, so. The digital threat of Korea, or <laughs> you actually have talent. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so uh, so these, these YouTubers are just getting like more and more right. popular, and brands are actually also partnering with them, and I could easily list like five or six agencies that help big brands partner with these YouTubers and influencers mm -hmm. who are becoming like the new the new like digital rock stars. Now, I remember you were telling me that and I don't know if you're allowed to talk about this, but are you were approached to be part of a reality show or something is that happening? Are you allowed to share anything about that? Yeah, I was approached to be a part of a reality show kind of following you know, Day seven, in the life of seven, seven people in Silicon Beach who mm -hmm. are uh, just you know d do interesting things, and mm -hmm. uh, and I wasn't sure if I, the camera crew would be able to keep up with me, so I wasn't sure if it would actually <laughs> <laughs> work out. I'm like, I won't be able to get into this you know into this party, this networking event with like a camera crew and like three guys following me. But right. uh, but uh, but no, actually, I'm not sure what the status of that is. Uh, there was some, uh, there are actually two or three, I think. Is, you know, production companies trying to do a Silicon Beach show. Yeah. Uh, just like there's a Silicon but Valley show. I think show. you would be, don't you think he would be an amazing, like, host of a show or oh, yeah. just fascinating to follow around? Because I'm telling you, when I'm, like, passed out on my couch and I go onto Facebook, I'm living vicariously through you. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, just your energy mm -hmm. alone. Seriously, mm -hmm. your energy alone. Now, granted, you don't have, like, a five-year-old sucking the life out of you, but but it, it fascinates me. You're just drawing drive you have such drive yeah i have a, i have a lot of i have a lot of energy and there's a lot of stuff going on so yeah. uh, and digital is everywhere so i need to be everywhere too and yeah. i like and i like to be everywhere yeah so, no and you're so, so good fun. at it and you and you've only been at this for five years which blows my mind too because it feels like you've always been around like you've always yeah. been doing this yeah you know there's always been the red shirt <laughs> 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 so all right so we we talked about connected things uh influencers what are some other trends that you're seeing that are really hot right now uh other trends are advertisers and brands uh just getting more digital everything from partnering with influencers to uh to just kind of to adver digital advertising they're mm -hmm. getting more they're allocating more dollars yep. to digital advertising uh and that 
you know, translates all the way down the line. So that's that's been really helpful too. Uh, also, just just people trying to do startups. I mean, Silicon Beach really started happening about two or three years ago with uh, a bunch of accelerators that opened up. Accelerators invest anywhere from like ten to fifty thousand dollars for a small equity stake in a company and help them out. Mm -hmm. um, that so they actually, usually have offices yes. and they give them a desk. Yeah. And they take a piece of their action. That's correct. And then they give them some money to just keep going. Yeah. And they introduce them to their network of VCs or mm -hmm. other potential investors or partners. So th that happened about five, uh, three years ago in 2012. And I I saw this happen, so I started. That's when I started doing the first Silicon Beach Fest. Mm -hmm. So just this rise of entrepreneurship in in Silicon Beach, which it can, which I define as the LA tech scene from Santa Monica to Pasadena to downtown Culver City and even uh, so Orange right because there was all this pushback that it's not just about a beach. Right, mm -hmm. right. The, the digital activity is not just happening in Santa Monica, Venice. There's a lot of it there, but there's digital activity happening downtown mm -hmm. uh, in Culver City, where a lot of the, the YouTuber uh, companies are, like mm -hmm. Full Screen and Maker. Uh, Hollywood uh, has some companies too, and then. You know, Pasadena and Burbank have some startups too. So and it's really, it's really everywhere. It's everywhere. And what about what's going on in Playa now? You have YouTube yes, there, exactly. and then Google's going to be moving there. And yeah, so Google just acquired some offices there. YouTube's already there. Facebook's there. Uh, Belkin uh, is there, which is you know more traditional company, but yeah. they're also doing a lot of online internet of things where you can use your app to turn on your, you can use your phone to turn on lights in your house mm -hmm. or your crock pot when you're not there. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. Uh, so that's happening. Um, yeah, Playa Vista is actually like the new up and coming, up and coming area. area. Yeah. Um, Konami has an office there. Uh, Seventy two and Sunny, the uh, the advertising the big agency, firm. Yeah. Uh, they they do a lot of stuff with Activision. They have right. an office there. Right. So yeah, and then there's this new runway construction that's happening there. The runway is the name of this new mall that has a Cinemark XD theater. Oh, uh, yeah. There's going to be a Whole Foods, yeah. a whole Playa Vista area, which used to just be flat and nothing. Right. Except maybe it some was apartment complexes. It was wetlands. And yeah, and, and that's why. Is, is definitely is yeah. definitely building fast. It's actually going to be like the highest concentration, I think, of tech companies within like a half mile, right. even more concentrated than the Bay Area, which is somewhat more spread out with office parks all over the place. Right. Do you think, um, I mean, the pushback I'm hearing about Playa is it's already so hard to drive around there. There's mm -hmm. so much traffic. Yeah, what do, Je what do you Jefferson in uh, Playa is going to be the new Wilshire. Yeah, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or the yeah. new 405, really. <laughs> or the new 405, yeah. right, right. So it's, it's going to, because um, I, I teach once a week at Loyola. Oh, you do? Okay, and nice. so um, uh, actually a marketing and tech class in the uh -huh. business school. And so at about 2 o'clock, I head down there for a 4.30 class. Right. Because it takes about an hour to get there from Sherman Oaks Studio City area, right? Then coming home, it takes about an hour at 7 o'clock to get home from Playa. And it's always jammed. Yeah. Well, so it's a mass transit thing. I know. We, yeah. need, we need that yeah. so bad. Yeah, fortunately, the, what is it, the, the 90 kind yeah. of like goes near there. Yeah, the 90 is good. Off. The 90 is so good. So that's good. Mm. We're talking all. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Freeway talk, everybody, if you're not from LA. It's Freeway sexy. talk. Way <laughs> the ways. Sexy, sexy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, actually, the local Playa Vista community actually uh, increased some of the, the roads and lanes. They are working on that mm. uh, because they do realize they know that this what's will gonna bring happen. a lot of tech people. So there's no. Everyone, all the one has housing in the area in Mar Vista, mm -hmm. Playa Vista, it's gonna go Rochester. Up. Your houses are going to go up. So, you know, maybe there'll be sell. a little bit of traffic, but. Uh, and then <laughs> sell. They'll be worth it. You're, <laughs> exactly. Well, so there's no. So now what, you, what you're kind of saying is that every area in LA is going to have some sort of technology entertainment component. Yeah, yeah it already does. Okay, every, right. every LA area actually already does have, have some technology going on. component going on there. So it's my job running Digital LA and Silicon Beach Fest to, keep to find out who's doing what where and bring everyone together for this big conference mm -hmm. uh, every June with 2,000 people over four days with conferences and uh, Ten, last year we had ten parties over the course of two yeah, nights, two days a night. Yeah, that's the other thing, man. He has we had, parties we, every night. We had beach games where all these tech people it, who had just been at a conference could go <laughs> to like. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something fun if you want to come. No, if I you mean want to I. I always want. To, I'm, I'm serious, but honestly, I'm always falling asleep by mm. nine or ten o'clock. I'm just a, a loser that way. But we'll, we'll um, do some more lunch events. How about that? Yeah, lunch would be great. Are, would lunch events work I'm for you, Lori? I'm fantastic at lunch. You know, lunch events by some pool. It's you can soak up some sun. I would like that. I did a power lunch event. In Hollywood about a year ago. I love that. that. It was basically yeah. like, you know, a lot I'm of parents awake. came who didn't yes. have a, And uh, yeah, it was Because that's great. the thing is you kind of want to, at this point in your life, you do want to put your kid down, right? So you go home, seven o'clock, you put your kid down, and then you're like home. And to get back in the car to go to an event is hard. Mm. Even if you know the red shirt's waiting for you, <laughs> it's still hard. It's that thing. So well, I'll say to myself, okay, I'm going to go back out. But I put her down, and then it's like 7.30, and I'm like looking at my bed, and I'm like, 
Star Trek episodes. <laughs> well, Kevin needs to bottle <laughs> well, his energy. That's what he needs to do. Yeah. Bottle and sell his energy. Yeah. There's work. a couple of things for at our VR uh, event that we had yeah. with people from Fox Studios and William Morris and visual effects companies talking about VR. Yeah. We actually VR live stream that. So what that means is oh, if you cool. had if you had like Google gone to the link. Yeah. That, that we tweeted Cardboard? out. Could I have used my? You could have used your, yeah. your phone, your 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 whatever, your iPhone or okay. whatever, to actually virtually be there. Oh, that's so great. So if you used your phone and tilted your phone up or down, it was as if you were there because there was like a camera with like six GoPros oh, that's all great. around it, just recording what was going on. So in the, real time. the the uh, 360 so, hero configuration. Yes, and, okay. exactly that. So and, you could yeah. have at least virtually been there, and I was taking tweet questions from anyone who was in the audience or See, anyone I, in the world who I was watching it. So you, you could actually could have virtually, yeah. virtually been, been there. there. I should even though that. you were at home, you know, snuggled, on my couch. snuggled up on your couch watching, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. TV you know what? Or I'm going to start Netflix. doing. I'm going to start doing that more because that is a, a great way to still be my lazy tiredness self. But, you know, be part of, of the Kevin Winston yeah, world. And I think that right now we will decide, we've decided, I've decided to do lunch events okay. so that more parents <laughs> can, can attend. And right. because it's gorgeous like today. And so uh, why don't we yeah, why don't we have like some, you know, networking event, lunch by the pool. I, I would love, love I would that. love Arnold Palmer and a uh, sandwich by the that, pool. No, that would be so great. And and so you're not, you've heard this before from other professionals that yeah. the parent thing kind yeah. of kills the, the ability to, to do late stuff. So. My other question for you is, I know you have a relationship with our mayor mm -hmm. to a certain extent, and you also met Obama. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because since you're this fulcrum person, you get to meet like other fabulous yeah. people. Yeah, so what's been really amazing and totally unexpected is that by doing these tech events and I've built this community or yes. at least have a lightning rod for this community of all these people who do digital across, across Various tech, categories, Hollywood, right. entertainment, whatever. What's happened is that the city of L.A., has you know also become Embrace more and more tech, <laughs> and uh, I actually had Mayor Garcetti speak at my first two Silicon Beach Fests. That's so amazing! Uh, and the, when he was running for office, because he wanted to reach out to the community. I mean, Eric is great; he tweets all the time, uh, and uh, he spoke at the two conferences See, and he's a to nice, like get a nice the, guy? to get the you know tech vote. He's a super nice guy. Uh, he invited me to this tech council that he put together. Uh, a month after he was elected, where he brought like 40 tech people throughout oh, LA so together yeah. and just basically said, Hey, I'm elected now. What should we do for tech? And how, mm -hmm. what should we do? How do we find a CTO? And right. then he actually ended up finding a CTO, uh, Peter Marks, who is now his job to put together things, including this uh, tech event he does. Uh, it was the LA Tech Conference that they did last last mm -hmm. spring, where they had tech people go to do a hackathon and panels downtown. Wow. So that was that was really fun too. And you're, at, you're at involved. City Hall. And you're involved in that stuff. Yeah, I help, I help promote it. Okay. And so so yeah, so what's happened is you know the city has realized that you know this tech thing is happening too. So they are doing things to support that as well. Mm -hmm. So um, we've done thing, a lot of things together. Peter Marks has spoken at our, our, our events. I've had people from the city of LA and the city of Santa Monica talk about what they're doing to support tech. So that, it's kind of become a, a much larger thing when city when cities become involved because yeah, they yeah. realize that this is bringing a lot of jobs and uh, you and, know, and, and making, revenue and making LA be and people be, be uh, thought of as a serious yeah. contender in the in the exactly tech, in the and tech world. what's happening now is also universities are getting into this too right USC and UCLA have launched accelerators uh, no where kidding. they I are didn't know that. Yeah, yeah they're investing uh, money or at least helping uh, accelerators get their or student startups yeah get up get, uh, out get, there. The, get off the ground and actually. Right after this, there's always something going on tech in LA. <laughs> right after this, at at two o'clock, I'm going to USC Viterbi, which is their engineering school, because they're having a demo day to see new uh, stuff. To see new stuff, so there'll be I think eight to ten student startups pitching what they do um, at the university. So I, I'm going to right after this. If you follow at Digital LA on Twitter or Instagram, you can see some of the tweets. I am. I've just decided that not this week, but in another week or two, I'm just going to follow you around for a week. I'm literally going to follow you around. I'm going to call you up and I'm just going to show up. <laughs> and awesome. I will be drinking Red Bull or whatever it takes to keep to keep up with you. So, and what, and tell us about the Obama thing, because that was pretty cool too. Oh yeah, so the Obama thing was really cool too. Um, what happened was Obama's people, someone from the White House gave Cross Campus where that actually has been, it's a co-working space in Santa Monica that has been the headquarters mm -hmm. for our Silicon Beach Fest for the past three years, and mm -hmm. I do a lot of events there. So uh, I guess word has got out that mm -hmm. Cross Campus is like a place to do tech, because they do events there all the time. Right, right. Every, every night there's some tech event going on at Cross Campus. So Obama called Cross Campus about a week before Obama was arriving uh, and on his like LA visit, and was like, "Hey, um, we'd like to have a, someone important from the White House come visit. Would you guys be willing to host?" And they were like, "Sure." So the person ended up being Obama. So, <laughs> so what happened was they invited 
uh, cross campus members who who work out of there plus uh, a small number of people from the tech community tech community leaders to this town hall that Obama did where he showed up with his with his motorcade and just basically talked about the Millennials um, and the Their rise of, and the rise of tech and and job creation did he, uh, did in, he in, shake in the hand? tech scene so did you get to shake his I, did get to shake, <laughs> I did get to shake I did get to shake Obama's <laughs> hand however when I asked him for a selfie he said oh if I take a selfie with you I'll take a selfie with everybody mm -hmm. so I was not able to get a selfie but you but you had a conversation with him well I said basically can I shake your hand and that was it so <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cross campus staff got to take photos of him in the back room with like the presidential flags and the US flag mm -hmm. uh, in the that's back so, cool. so that's really and, cool and was he um, was it a good speech he gave was yeah, he, yeah yeah he gave a great town hall we had like a dozen people People from uh, the tech community able to ask questions after he gave his speech and he answered them all I think really well so mm -hmm. it's just nice to see that you know even at the White House Obama mm -hmm. is realizing that the, the tech scene is growing in LA mm -hmm. and he went right to you know the heart of where we do a lot of our and events. you got special invited right there yeah. was only a certain amount of people. there's only a certain number of people who are, who are invited to go so to I'm that. six degrees from Obama right now because of you mm -hmm. I, I like to say there's seven degrees of Kevin Bacon but I'm trying to work on one or two degrees of Kevin Winston <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy accurate. Now, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so in, ter in terms of, um, you know, just again, how you're moving through the space, do you see Silicon Valley now taking L.A. tech more seriously? Yeah, we just talked about this uh, a couple of days ago, one of our, our panels. Uh, yeah, what's happened now is as we have real companies being built here, uh, Silicon Valley is starting to take notice. And a lot of the Silicon Valley VCs are opening up offices here, already have opened up offices here to try to see what's going on and invest in LA companies. Uh, all the major VC companies in uh, San Francisco and uh, New York have sent people down here or have opened up offices. So that's so that's that's really exciting. Um, just, just just to see that growth. Mm -hmm. And it's because we've had these really big exits over the past yeah. year. Like last spring, over the course of like two or three months, we had three you know, acquisitions that amounted to six billion dollars. Um, That's six they? billion dollars. Yeah. Just crazy. as a reference, because yeah. no, people don't know what that means. It's just a big yeah. number. Mm -hmm. uh, the six entire movie billion the, dollars. Uh, billion <laughs> dollars. <laughs> the entire movie industry makes about eleven to twelve billion dollars a year. So in the course of three months, these these three companies had a six billion dollar you know it, 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 half the movie industry just three companies and no it's really so, good to, to give their perspective because I think people in this town forget what money really means right you know? right so what were, what were the so companies? Three, three big acquisitions uh, the first one I think was uh, Disney acquired Maker for right. 500 million mm -hmm. with payouts up to 950 which is about a billion dollars because they met the payouts mm -hmm. so Disney acquired Maker for a billion dollars <laughs> um, Facebook acquired Oculus, mm -hmm. virtual reality company, right, which changed everything. Yeah, for, exactly. For VR. Which, which is why VR is also so a hot. big thing right. uh, for two billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And then Apple acquired Beats by Dre uh, for access to the music streaming services mm -hmm. that it provides. And for, then they shut it down for three billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, they basically got the people and the technology, and then are shutting it shut down. Which that's is right. A little bit sad for us, but yeah. But uh, but that acquisition was three billion dollars. So mm -hmm. add three, two, one, all up. It's a six billion dollars. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, uh, other companies, other startups, uh, you know, have also gotten a lot of. Uh, Acquisition, for example, Style Hall, which is a company that Stephanie. Right. I love um, Style Hall. Yeah, okay. Style Hall is a is a uh, MCN. It's a multi channel network mm -hmm. of YouTubers. So they basically have a bunch of you know teen girls who are talking about how to wear makeup yeah. and lipstick and showing off their styles or mm -hmm. opening up you know gift bags that they receive from companies. That yeah, that them. that is the craziest trend. There's, I've read that there was one who just basically like like one of these beauty bloggers just. Opens, opens up, bags. Opens bags. Opens yeah. bags or opens up like things from Disney and right. tries them on or whatever. Yeah. And uh, there's and, a whole anyway. opening a bag trend on YouTube. Yeah. And if you thought that was funny that someone could have a channel have viewers from that, it's huge. It's and huge. It's a, it's a huge <laughs> thing. They yeah. get millions of views. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Stephanie said, Stephanie, the CEO of Style Hall, yeah. uh, she realized that this was happening a couple of years ago, and she personally went to like 150 of these like teen girls and were like, hey, can you be part of my YouTube network? It's called Style Hall. Mm -hmm. And so she packaged all these teen girls' content together, put it all in one spot. Basically, she made a channel by going to all these and YouTubers. Huge. And now it's huge. It got recently got a... Um, a investment deal which values the company at two hundred million dollars from a German company. From a right? German company, which puts her as kind of like the highest ranking, or you know, Paid, woman as, in, in tech because she has this now two hundred million dollar valuation company that she made in three years. I had yeah. her on a panel three years ago, back when she was just getting started. Yeah, and she now has this like two hundred million dollar valuation yeah, company, which I, is huge, with I offices in New York. She's opening up something in Brazil. Like it's amazing. Right, they, they're what I love about them is that these influencers have now gotten older. 
And so brands are surrounding them. And so the products that are surrounding them are changing based on their life phases. Mm -hmm. So they're a teenager and they're dating. That's mm -hmm. one set of products. And then they get college, married. Yeah. And that's another set of products. And so brands are following these influencers through their life stages, mm. which is fascinating. Yeah, it's amazing what can happen now. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. really, it's really fascinating. So you're really meeting people right at the beginning of their journey and then watching them kind of explode. That, that's correct. To, to a certain extent. That's correct. And letting other people know what they're doing, that's awesome. And do We're, you... Do you um, do you ever get a piece of the action, Kevin? Is there um, anything you want to share? I did a work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you take a piece of the action for God's sake. Yeah. That's a great, I work I on that too. This is, a great, this is a great show. Remember, right? <laughs> we planned out our lunch events. Strategy and, uh, session. <laughs> some other uh, good strategic well, planning session. I, I got to tell you, it is hard when you are a professional connector, as I am in my own way, and you're not being paid by an umbrella company, which I was for most of my professional life. I was paid to connect, right? And then you leave and people are still calling you and you're still connecting and you're like, but wait, I'm not getting that check every two weeks. So you have to figure out new business models. But is there anything that you think LA Tech is known for? Like, is it about entertainment here? Are there any tech themes that are happening? You know, is there anything you've noticed around that? Yeah, well, of the, of the companies that I mentioned that had all this valuation, um, you know, Beats by Dre. They're uh, all Oculus entertainment. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and Maker. They're all entertainment. Right. So entertainment, you know, and it makes sense because we have a lot of entertainment the culture Hollywood here, studios right. here. Mm -hmm. and I know I used to work at Fox and Sony and a lot of my other friends have left big studios uh, from the digital departments to go to do their own startup so that's how we get a lot of these mm -hmm. um, startups here you have these people with the they know how the system works and then they meet a they developer, build they go around it and then they're then they yeah. can go, like go do their own startup right. um, that work can work within the system but using a new distribution model or a mobile app or something yeah it's, to, it's to get yes. out there. I mean so, I cannot mad imagine you um, at a staff job I just yeah, can't I see it. Yeah, I was when I left when I left uh, Fox Interactive. I was only going to do Digital Life for just three months to try yeah. it out, and it's been five years uh, it's because it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's awesome what yeah. you're doing. I mean, you're changing things. So, in terms of um, you know your friends that are you know seeking out businesses and doing well, are you seeing um, are you seeing any commonalities about the folks that have startups that hit? You know, is there any sort of cultural phenomena or formula for success in this space? Uh, the number one ingredient is really passion. If mm -hmm. you have a really good idea that you're passionate about and you're willing to do like, you know, what it takes to, to get it done, then that is staying actually awake, the number one. Staying awake, right? right staying awake the number one thing. <laughs> if you have an idea and you think someone else is going to do it, uh, that's not really going to work. You can hire people to have them do it, but you really need to have that passion because that passion will come through in your investor meeting. That passion will ha come through in your pitch to whatever studio you might be doing it, if it relates to studio. You'd have that passion, and you'd have the follow-through and actually get done what you say you're going to get done. Right, you have, so, to, you have to make shit happen. Right, actually you have to make it happen. So you need the passion and then actually make it happen. Then people are like, oh, you made it happen. Yes, let's do more stuff together. <laughs> so, um, you actually do what you say you're going to do. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. That is very powerful stuff. Right. Okay, so passion is one thing. Yeah, passion is one thing. Uh, a good idea is one thing too. Right. Uh, and just knowing what's out there within the market. A lot of people have ideas for like this mm -hmm. new greatest app or startup, but they never actually check to see that, oh, there's five other yeah. you know, uh, sites that, like, you, that you order food online. You know, like that, and they mm -hmm. forget that. Uh, and the third thing is, um, people really need to figure out how they're going to market it and get customers. It's you know, you can build an app by you know paying someone twenty to fifty thousand yeah, dollars, but, how is but it? if no one knows about it, mm -hmm. it doesn't pop to the top in the app store. You can tell your friends and post on Facebook and get like the first thousand you know customers, but how do you get the next ten thousand, hundred thousand, or a million? Right. Uh, right. And some of the LA companies have been able to do that if if they have passion uh, or just you know do some marketing. But they're just being really smart. Events. They're just, just really smart yeah. and flexible. Try something, see what's working. If it's right. not working, do something else. Right. Uh, th this day and age where it, everything happens very fast um, with, with technology, but yeah. you, can, you can track how well a campaign does with like your Facebook likes, even using Facebook just right. by sitting at home. You can have a digital strategy that right. will allow you to track your metrics. You right. can have you can, KPIs. You can, you can change yeah. stuff over the course of a day, right, whereas right. before you would do a marketing campaign, you'd send it, it out. Alone. You right. would wait like two weeks and then see how your results that's were. Your, that's your now you can you're do wearing it your in Sony Fox hat now. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so other genres in addition to entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, so entertainment is the is, is is a large part of it, but we have a lot of startups that are not entertainment related. Um, these, What's the themes there? The, the, the themes there. Um, these on-demand apps. We have a lot of service companies in LA. So like that's you why were I had this panel. Yeah. yeah. So on this panel, I had startups, everything from Washio, which started in LA. It's basically a laundry service. You can use your app to have someone pick up your laundry from your house, like your dry cleaning or that. your laundry. And then in 24 hours, they will have it back to you clean. 
It's great. And I'll deliver it to your house. You don't have to do that little drop and off. And like at Priv the, at the is store. like that, right? Priv. Yeah. And I used yeah. Handy the other day. Handy? handy? Yeah. What does yeah. Handy, handy do? Handy is another one. Handy is another app. It's a booking maid service and oh, ha- handy that. You want to put a maid like There's also Saucy, yeah. Yeah. which uh, Saucy. delivers alcohol. Let's uh-huh. say you're having a you know barbecue at your place. Oh, my God. You run out of alcohol. <laughs> you can have them. Or you can just have them Insta show life. up. Insta life. Insta uh, life. It really is. Exactly. We call this this is this panel on demand or uber for everything because yeah. you could, you could right you could it is your uber cell for phone everything, basically right. to like order order anything to your house now. and uber's doing uber fresh now have you heard about this i heard They're of uber fresh and yeah. i heard about exactly. a couple of other uber models i i actually use amazon fresh which i love uh-huh. having come from new york where you can't get fresh direct right mm-hmm. here so it's very frustrating so the thing i love about amazon fresh is literally the night before i can place an order right the frustrating thing is they don't have the brands and the products that i like mm. right you know so i can't and, and again Again, if you're a parent and you're dealing with nutrition or whatever, mm-hmm. you want specific things. But as you, you mentioned know? parenting, we actually had a app called Mommy, M-A-H-M-E-E, where you can actually contact a baby care provider on on, so on, your, on your phone, basically. Babysitters. Yeah, ba- babysitters. Actually, not babysitters. It's more baby care advice. So let's say oh, you're, okay. you're, you're a new mom. Uh, your baby is freaking out or you don't yeah. know how you, often you should breastfeed. Uh, you can actually use this app and Skype with a baby care person who can oh give some God, advice. Oh, my God, I love that. Which is uh, great because typically like, all this stuff usually happens at like 1 in the morning if there are any moms out right. there or dads. You know yeah. that you know the doctor's office closes at 5 mm-hmm. and from Sunday at 5 Yo, to Monday, your you're out of luck. <laughs> right. So, uh, But this is basically you, a way to get like this really sort of five yeah. people to give you do know their, their when to breastfeed only because you know that your boobs hurt if you don't <laughs> <laughs> there's some basics but but i totally appreciate that i think that's fantastic yeah. and i know um healthcare is moving in that direction right healthcare is getting more so, and more so, and i love too. that and and for me um you know famously i talk about blow dries because i'm absolutely mm-hmm. obsessed about blow dries now that i've grown my hair out long so dry bar and this like business built around just blow dries fascinates me and I use their app. So I've been watching these style on demand services like Priv and these right. other ones where you can literally j- just, you know, say, come and give me a back massage. Mm. <laughs> right. We yeah. actually had a massage uh, company on, what the, was it on called? the panel too. Yeah. Um, the massage company is called Soothe. And what you can do is you can use this app like, you know, if you had a stressful day at work before you get home, just like say hey i want a massage therapist to be at my house here's my your address is already on the app and so is your credit card to pay for it and and tip they show up. and then a massage therapist comes up with one of those little massage chairs uh that you put your face in the, oh, the donut great. ring mm-hmm. and can give you a massage for an hour mm-hmm. at your house so, and what is there super, security super and privacy and stuff in all these i'm sure they talked about that because yeah, that would be the one that's actually thing. a question that i ask because mm-hmm. you have these you know people showing up at your house yeah. uh, all the companies do a really good job um certifying people mm-hmm. and making sure that people are presentable yeah mm-hmm. um when they come to your house because don't it, smell because it is your house <laughs> right right and yeah. uh so yeah so and they, they use they a review. pbx so you don't even have their real numbers right, everything right. it goes through yeah right. oh that's a cool filtering system right so, yeah. and then all these apps yeah. have like a review uh, feature mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. just like you, you rate your like your uber, your, driver. Your, or, or right. uber driver you can rate your massage therapist on one of the five that. stars mm-hmm. and one of the panelists at our event said yeah if someone has like you know if someone ever gets like a two star or one star we 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 kick them off kick them out of the program mm-hmm. basically so, so do you do you think these on-demand services so are big in la because la is such an urban sprawl and it's hard to just get things done here yeah i think that's i think that's definitely right it's hard i mean to like do these errands like go to the dry cleaner and then go to the store and pick up you know your 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 kale yeah <laughs> and, and your non-fat milk and your protein it's, shake it on your way hours. home it, it, it takes yeah. like it takes hours. like 45 minutes to do each one of those things yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. this is a way to just have someone do it all i, I think love, it'd be love 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 that so you yeah. think each city will probably have different flavors Based yeah, on and their some culture. of these are expanded to other cities. Washio, the dry clean one, is already in, uh, I think, New York and a couple other cities. Mm-hmm. Um, Handy is in New York as ha- well. Handy is in New York, yeah. So sorry, you guys are, expand. I'm writing down yeah. Handy because I need mm-hmm. stuff done. Well, I did Handy the other day, and it was $20 for two hours of maid service. Wow. Just yeah, to it's an introductory. Yeah. These are great. Yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot of these apps, they want adoption, so they're giving out really good deals. Yeah. Wow. In, in fact, they gave yeah. me like digital like, discount codes for the Soothe Massage app uh, and for the Lux Valet, which I can tweet out if you want. Oh, my God, yeah. Tweet it out. out. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. really, I, really, I really freaking fun. love that because mm-hmm. I, I just think what I was thinking, you know, just because I've been married for 10 years is, God, would I have had fun if I was single right now? <laughs> 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 and you just go, I want a male masseuse. And I uh-huh. wanna... Anyway, those yeah. days are gone. You can make those but requests. But <laughs> <that's> so, <right. laughs> so other companies, in addition to uh, entertainment and these like on demand service companies, yes. mm-hmm. are ad tech. It's a little bit less like the media doesn't report about it because they don't mm-hmm. understand it, but delivering ads online or yes. mobile mm-hmm. uh, is pretty big. Fox just bought a company in West LA for called. Uh, 
uh, Truex for two hundred million dollars. Wow, that, that wow. does that. No one really knows about ad tech. Rubicon Project, which is a yes. uh, another ad tech company that mm -hmm. went actually went public mm -hmm. uh, last year. One of the two companies that actually IPO last year. Uh, they also do ad tech, no. uh, and they're growing as well. So it's crazy. Um, so, so ad tech's ad tech, the third ad tech one. is also good. Is that and more then, in New York though, or they they have ad services too? But yeah. uh, I, I would put it in the top five categories of wow, stuff, that, okay. stuff that we have here. Okay. So. That's, um, that's great. Yeah. All right, so entertainment, on demand, ad tech. Yeah, we also have some uh, e-commerce and okay. uh, style fashion companies. Okay, great. Uh, growing too. There's a company called Me Undies, which has uh, had <laughs> <laughs> during during Fashion Week um, last year. We actually had a digital fashion show where I had seven startups who have e-commerce stores that you buy stuff online walk the runway because oh, typically it. at fashion week in LA or New York all the big companies traditional companies mm -hmm. have you know fashion models walk but I was like why is there something for the digital companies who have online startups yeah. so I had seven online startups um, walk the runway including uh, companies that do you know women's exercise clothing to uh, to uh, I love know, that. to formal to formal mm -hmm. wear to another company that has like you know guys tuxedos they can you just type in your measurements and then a tuxedo or, 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 or a blazer or, oh, or shirt will God, show up that so with bad. that so another company in LA that which is fun is called me undies mm -hmm. at and they make underwear, a subscription model, because guys hate buying underwear. They will guys wear hate, hate buying everything. Right. Really. They will they will wear underwear until it has holes mm. holes right, in it. Right. And then yeah. so this site allows you to go and you can buy a one you know underwear at a time, but you can also get the subscription service where every month you will you pay you know X number of dollars per month and you get a pair of underwear that shows up at your door. So women <laughs> like to buy this for their for their guy. Yeah. For their guys because they're tired of their guys holy underwears, uh, and guys can actually also buy it for girls that have women's underwear too. Wow. Guys can buy it for the woman because they want their woman to you know feel fun and she likes to right. underwear all the lingerie time. Lingerie or yeah, something. Exactly. Lingerie on demand. Mm -hmm. Well, one one more question for you before we go into our last segment. Mm -hmm. But um, what are you doing for Valentine's Day, and are you going to be already? Ready? So I love Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day. Everyone else wears red too, and I like a lot of people wearing red. So I'm like, oh wow, everyone's everyone's doing. Do you, are you fun. doing any events? So it's funny. For, so for Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Day. It's well, as I mentioned before, we're in award season, and it just yes. so happens that the Writers Guild oh, Awards. Oh right, you mentioned that. Right, is right, right. is okay. Saturday, and also the. Uh, Makeup Artist and Hairstylist Guild Awards is on Saturday too. Oh, so I'm actually going to headers. both of those award shows, um, and kind of you know covering the, the digital Parting aspect of it, it too. There. And I'm really curious what the hair and makeup people will look like at the Hair and Makeup Awards on Valentine's Day. Wow. So I'm just going to take p pictures of people because I'm sure they're going to have the most fabulous like mm -hmm. outfits, look hair, yeah. makeup, because if the if the award show is on Valentine's Day yeah. <laughs> at the hair and makeup yeah. of all the people in the world, these people are going to want right. to wear the best stuff and show that they got the, you know, the best now, hair and makeup fashion. What so are you gonna that wear? is going to be a really w fun what one. What will you wear? Mm -hmm. I have a red blazer, which I only introduced for special occasions and i think i'll probably wear a red blazer should i wear red pants too i, I have a pair so. of i have red blazer red pants uh and red shades that's probably what i'll wear because i can go all out for that one. So. Oh, i love it i love it all right well let's head into our last segment mm -hmm. i think we have another five minutes of the show mm -hmm. um and i wanted to find out you know where do you get your information and this is called what's the scoop what's the scoop <laughs> Nice one, nice one. Nice. <laughs> well, you know, where where do you find your information? Like, um, I read, say, Recode or Jason Hershon's uh, Media Redefined. Like, what do you read or where do you find out stuff? I know it's now it's mostly at your networking events, but is there anything that you particularly like to read or curate that yeah. helps you? So in addition to just talking to people at my networking, networking events, mm -hmm. uh, every morning when I wake up, while I'm still in bed, I just basically check my Twitter feed. And I, it's basically who I follow. So I follow the entertainment uh Twitter feeds to know what's mm -hmm. going on, which is The Hollywood Reporter, Variety, uh, The Wrap, and Deadline. Mm -hmm. I also ha follow the tech news, too, uh, including Recode, uh, TechCrunch, uh, and Gadget mm -hmm. to figure out what's going on there. Um, those are, are national um, feeds, feeds yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. One's for entertainment, the other for tech. Also, there are local feeds, too. Uh, there's one called SoCalTech.com or SoCalTech on Twitter. They report any deals that have gone through, like... For example, um, one company, Laurel and Wolf, which is an interior design company, we're gonna have an interior design person like come to your house and make it better. Um, they actually just announced a five point five million dollar acquisition. I found out about that through the SoCal mm -hmm. Tech. So they report like the deal flow, whether something gets acquired for, you know, or gets investment. So I follow That's that cool. too uh, locally. Um, also, there's another company called LATech.com, which reports events that happen. So I do a lot of events, like one to two a week, but so do a lot of other um, 
groups too. In fact, every night there's probably three tech events going on. So whatever Are you're there interested really? in, yeah, every every night. That's why I'm everywhere because I want to find out. You know, yeah, I want to go see what's what's happening at these events and you know see what's. Are you what's going using on. a car service or are you <laughs> an on-demand car service? So I, I, ride, I ride myself, but uh, but I did use Lux Valet for my previous uh, event because I actually was running late to one of my own events and uh, I had this valet person instead of taking the 10 minutes to circle around the block and mm -hmm. look for parking and carry stuff in I just used this to like have the valet meet me at the door of the event so I just arrived there saw him in his little blue jacket uh, gave him my keys and just ran to the event oh my god <laughs> I love that <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the discount yeah and, 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 <laughs> anyway so so um so SoCal Tech and then there are other uh, tech news uh, local tech news things too um uh, Tech Zulu uh, reports what's going on uh, as well. So yeah, so it's whatever you're interested in, there's there's some you know, like Twitter feed to follow, and I get basically all my news for from Twitter or my other Facebook mm -hmm. friends who are in the startup entertainment communities posting what they do. I, I that's where I get. I don't really read. Like so it's all Twitter, it's all stuff that's that much. Yeah. I like to get it in real time, and then if it's awesome, I like to share it. So that's that's basically where I get the news from. Yeah. Are you sharing it on your blog as well? On the uh, I basically digital share LA? it through Twitter. So if you follow okay. at Digital LA, okay. uh, you'll see that in the morning. I retweet, I retweet like a bunch of the news that's okay. going on for the day. Yeah. I'll do a couple of tweets from an event. So today, after this, I'm going to go to the USC mm -hmm. and tweet the startups that are pitching. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll be retweeting like pictures from the awards the yeah, the, I the can't wait to see the hair and makeup. Yeah, yeah. But so so basically, they can follow at, at Digital A uh, on Instagram and Twitter to find out the news. Uh, and also, I, I do a summary of what's happening in the tech scene and put it in my newsletter, which you can sign up for at digitala.net too. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah. whether you're more interested in like the music side of things or the startup kind of things or the VC investor or mm -hmm. entertainment or whatever it is, someone's covering that and something's happening in that. So you got to just keep yeah. up on the news. And that's why I'm probably why I'm everywhere is because through being very hooked into everything that's going yes. on, mm -hmm. yeah. I find out what's going on and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I should go, go check there. that out. Mm -hmm. And then you so, get invited to more things and more yeah, things. Yeah, and exactly. So, on. so it's kind of funny. I've, you, you can do this thing right now where you can maximize your online and your offline. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like I'm online all the time, but I'm, I'm, at, I'm using online to get to these events and let people know about my events. Right. So there's this nice combination of So you're of, actually of fairly both. strategic about how you approach this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you have to be if you're everywhere. Yeah. And you are everywhere. That's what I try to, try to be. <laughs> Digital is everywhere and so am I. Just look for the well, road Well, any, yeah. anything, okay, so we have your women's event coming up and we have what you're going to be doing this weekend and then anything else of your big events coming up that we should know about? Uh, yeah, Silicon so Beach? Basically, Silicon Beach Fest is, is the big event where I take some of the best speakers uh, and the best topics throughout the year and I say, okay, here are the, these are like the, the ones that were most popular, the best speakers. And I put them all in one, in, in this one conference speaking. So, so, and this conference attracts people from from LA, uh, and over the past, like last year, it attracted people from San Francisco, from New York. Oh yeah, they're going to start. I, I met people. Coming. I met people from Germany and London they're and coming. Hawaii are and sure. Singapore who wanted to check out what the tech scene was like and heard about it, which is amazing to me because I never actually advertised it in those locations. But uh, but just through word of mouth, mm. uh, it's it's and it's yeah. it's, it's the got world. On, so. Is swirling around Kevin Winston and Digital A. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a hand for our special yeah. guest today. Thank you so much, Laura. It's been awesome. Thank oh you my for God. Great questions. You're, it's been fun hanging out. You're exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's ama you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, for giving me the opportunity. It's oh, I loved really having fun. you. Ladies and gentlemen, come back and visit us again. Tech trends impacting your business. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Keep cool because we're having a ridiculous winter yet again. <laughs> And uh, check out Digital LA, Kevin Winston, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Shows that make you laugh. Shows that make you think. Music that moves you. It could only be one place. Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBN Radio.